Intrusion Alarm Dealers. We've been waiting a long time for this and it's finally here. The next big update in the 2 gig ecosystem, extended range sensors. With all the new 2 gig E plus sensors, you're not just extending the reach of your alarm systems, you're opening the door to new customers and opportunities that you couldn't connect with before. These sensors deliver unmatched coverage, durability, and encrypted protection to ensure that every corner of your property is secured. Hey everybody, it's Tyler from Nelly Security, and in today's video, we're talking about the all new E plus extended sensors from 2 gig. Two gig has consistently emerged as a competitive leader in the alarm space. Five years ago, two gig gave their entire system a huge overhaul with the introduction of their E-Series, bringing encrypted sensor technology into the two gig ecosystem, raising their security standards to the next level. Then just a couple of years later, two gig pushed the entire industry forward with their groundbreaking flagship alarm panel, the 2 gig edge. But until now, these systems were still limited to the standard range of around 350 feet. This worked great for smaller setups, but left larger properties with major gaps in security. Properties requiring outdoor setups or extended distances were left looking for alternatives. Enter the 2 gig E plus extended sensors. These aren't just longer range sensors to reach new doors on your property. They're an entire new solution to reach new customers that have previously been left behind. You can finally bring the affordable and cutting edge 2 gig ecosystem to a whole new set of clients looking for more powerful and longer range alarm systems. Does this mean you need new hardware or an entirely new panel in order to use the E plus sensors? Most likely not. All you need is a 2 gig edge panel. These panels were designed from the start to be future proof. So no additional hardware or new panels are required. As long as your edge panel is upgraded to the 1.3 firmware, it will be instantly compatible with these new extended sensors. Thanks to the dual frequency capability of the edge panel, you can use both the standard E-Series encrypted 345 megahertz sensors and the new E-Plus extended 900 megahertz sensors, mixing and matching these to create a system that perfectly fits your customer's needs. Now, if you have a 2 gig GC2E panel, you won't be able to take advantage of the extended range sensors as these lower end models only support the standard range of 345 megahertz. But if you're installing an alarm system for a customer who does need to take advantage of these more capable sensors, they're most likely going to want the edge panel anyway, as it's a much more capable system all around, perfect for larger residential and commercial installations. So what is it that makes the E plus sensors work so well? How do they compare to Johnson Controls Power G sensors? And more importantly, how well do they work in practice? Well, let's find out. So we've already mentioned different radio frequencies on the two gig sensors, but let's dig a little bit deeper. When we're looking at the two frequencies of two gig sensors, we're talking about 345 megahertz and 900 megahertz. But what does that really mean? Well, to understand this a little bit better, you can imagine a large multi-lane highway that wireless signals use to travel from point A, an alarm sensor, to point B, the alarm panel. This highway is really a non-visible spectrum of light that we call the radio band. This highway allows the sensors in your security system to communicate with the control panel, alerting the system when a door is opened, when motion is detected, when glass breaks, etc. Now the 345 megahertz and the 900 megahertz frequencies are like two different lanes on this highway, each one optimized for different methods of transportation, you could say. The 345 megahertz wavelength is like the right lane of a highway made for slower traffic and shorter distances. Both the legacy two gig sensors and the E-series two gig sensors use this 345 megahertz frequency, which is great for accomplishing what these sensors need to accomplish. It works well inside homes or smaller properties because it doesn't need to travel far. But just like driving on the right lane of a highway, you might experience more obstacles. All of this interference can cause the signal to slow down or get blocked if there are too many walls, trees, or buildings between your sensor and your panel. Typically, 345 megahertz sensors have a range of about 350 feet. The 900 megahertz frequency, on the other hand, is like the far left lane of the highway. In this lane, we're dealing with fast moving vehicles. We're not having to navigate as much traffic, and we're probably not expecting to exit off of the highway anytime soon, making this ideal for much longer distances. The two gig E plus sensors use this 900 megahertz frequency to reach a little over one mile between the sensor and the panel, depending on how much obstruction there is. This makes a huge difference if you're securing large properties like estates, warehouses, 
or large outdoor areas. The 900 megahertz signal can travel much farther and penetrate obstacles like walls or trees much more effectively than the lower frequency counterparts. When comparing the 2 gig E plus extended range sensors to power G sensors from Johnson Controls, for instance, you'll see that on paper, both are nearly identical. Here's how they stack up. When it comes to frequency, both the 2 gig E plus and power G sensors operate on this 900 megahertz frequency, which again provides excellent range and strong penetration through obstacles like walls and trees. When it comes to range, both sensors boast a maximum range of up to two kilometers, or 1.2 miles in open air. And when it comes to battery, both the E Plus and Power G sensors provide up to eight years of battery life, significantly reducing the need for frequent replacements. But the sensors do differ in terms of price, product diversity, and availability. First, let's talk about price. This is the most obvious distinction between the two systems. Power G sensors are significantly more expensive than two gig E Plus sensors. And not only are the individual sensors themselves pricier, but the Qolsys IQ panels or the DSC systems that integrate with Power G sensors come at a higher overall cost when compared to a two gig edge and E Plus system. This makes the two gig E Plus system a much more cost effective solution without sacrificing performance. Another critical difference between the two is availability. Qolsys, DSC, and PowerG are all owned by Johnson Controls, but they function as separate entities. Qolsys systems and DSC systems work seamlessly with PowerG sensors, but PowerG sensors aren't always readily available in the same places. This limited availability can make it harder for some businesses to access PowerG products or to procure all of their alarm equipment from the same place. In contrast, 2GIG controls the E Plus sensors directly without needing to work through a separate subsidiary or brand, ensuring more consistent availability. The final difference has to do with product diversity. Since PowerG has been around a lot longer, it offers a wider variety of sensors and products. This makes it a more versatile choice in terms of specialized or niche security setups. However, 2GIG E Plus sensors are brand new and their lineup already includes essential options like door and window sensors, motion detectors, smoke detectors, and more, making them suitable for the vast majority of circumstances that you'll come across. Not to mention, we do expect to see new E Plus sensors hitting the market later this year and early 2025. So if you're looking for performance, both the 2 gig E Plus and Power G sensors deliver equally with their 900 megahertz frequency, their long range, and their awesome battery life. However, when it comes to price and availability, 2 gig E Plus sensors come out on top. The Edge Panel's seamless integration with both 345 megahertz and 900 megahertz sensors, combined with their direct control of the product, makes 2 gig a more accessible and budget-friendly solution, especially for installers and customers looking to keep costs down without compromising on quality. On the other hand, if you're already invested in a Qolsys or DSC ecosystem, or if you need a wider variety of sensor types, then PowerG may be the right option for you. Now that we know what these sensors look like on paper, let's test them out with our 2 gig edge system. All right, we have our 2 gig edge set up here, ready to go. We have our outdoor E plus wireless sensors. We also have our indoor sensors. You can see the size difference on these. These indoor sensors are the same size that we're used to. These outdoor sensors are quite a bit bigger, much more durable, perfect for outdoor situations. But before we can add these E plus sensors to the edge panel, we do have to make sure that it is up to date with the latest firmware version 1.3. You can do this a couple of different ways. The easiest way, if you do have your edge panel connected to an alarm.com account, is to just go into the app and upgrade it through the cloud. We don't have this connected to an alarm.com account currently. This is just a test panel. So I'm gonna have to upgrade it using a USB flash drive. Once I stick the flash drive into the system, it should start automatically downloading the firmware that we have downloaded onto the flash drive. We see a screen, do you want to update the panel's firmware? Yes, we do. We'll click update, enter the installer code, which is 1561 by default, and we are now updating the firmware. All right, our edge has restarted, the firmware is good, so I'm gonna take this flash drive out. Our edge is booted back up and we have the 1.3 firmware installed. We can confirm that by clicking the two gig icon, clicking system info, and we can see under firmware version, it's C.3.1.3, perfect. Now let's jump into the settings and we'll see how simple it is to set up a sensor with this new firmware. In the past, you used to have to do a whole bunch of manual configuration. 
All that's gone. The process is so much more streamlined now. We're going to click Installer Toolbox. We're going to click Panel Programming and Wireless Zones. Now our first wireless zone is empty currently. We're going to click the plus button to add a sensor. We can choose between standard sensors or an E plus sensor. Obviously, we're going to go with E plus and click learn. And at this point, we're going to insert the batteries into our sensor. And you can see that once we do put in the batteries, we have a red, a red light start to flash here on the sensor, letting us know that our sensor is in learn mode. And right away, the panel has registered the sensor. All of the information has been populated for you. You don't have to put in any equipment codes. You don't have to configure any of the settings. All of the recommended settings are already set. Of course, you can go in here and customize this however you need to. Uh, for instance, this is already set as exit and entry. That's perfect. Uh, one thing I do want to do here is add a voice descriptor so we can hear it once the sensor is tripped. And we'll just call this shop door and we will adjust the sensor chime so that we hear the voice. And that's all there is to it. This sensor is learned into the system and ready to go. We can see here with this new firmware, we have uh, new icons on this list of sensors. Uh, for our shop door, we have a battery icon showing us how much battery life is left. We have the E plus icon showing us that this is an extended range sensor. And we also have this signal strength indicator, which is super helpful. It's just a quick way for you to see how close your sensor is to the panel. If it's starting to get a little too far away, especially as you start installing these sensors up to 1.2 miles away, it's going to be helpful for you to know exactly how strong that signal is coming through or if there's any obstructions getting in the way. All right, with that, I'm going to click the home icon. System disarmed. Not ready to arm. You can see that the sensor is open and tampered. That's just because right now we don't have this set up in an actual installation, so it, the panel is gonna think that we're tampering with the sensors, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put the magnet next to the sensor so that it can go into a, a closed state. And you can see right away that that open description went away, and when I move the magnet away from the sensor, shop, door. Our sensor is now learned into the edge panel. It's time to test this out, so I'm gonna hand this off to Matt who is going to take this across the parking lot. And we're going to simulate an actual setup here that is similar to something that you might experience with some of your clients. We have the actual edge panel here in the office and Matt is taking those sensors across the parking lot to uh, maybe you have a garage or a shed or some kind of shop several hundred feet away from your main location. These E plus extended sensors are going to be perfect for you. All right, getting a phone call. It looks like Matt's in location. Let's see what he's up to. Hey, Matt, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. All right, go ahead and trip that sensor when you get a chance. Okay, here we go. Shop door. Uh, did you get that? Beautiful, yep, we got it. Nice. As you can see, the distance between me and Matt, the obstruction of these walls, nothing got in the way of this signal reaching the panel. Thanks to that 900 megahertz frequency, these E plus sensors from 2GIG are going to change the game for you and your customer. Be sure to leave a comment below. Let us know what you think about these products, what you're most excited about, and how you plan to integrate these into your own solutions for your customers. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss the next product showcase. Thank you guys for watching and happy installing.